Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're the mother. All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas all right here he is for my money might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division a true mixed martial artist at his core and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. everyone talked about him being well-rounded it's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Black Mamba. And now we produce his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Cho. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jabs, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range and even start to think about striking. Body attack, and it's blocked. Oh, big punch land. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You can 
really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Wow, he lands another leg kick. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Throws the right hand there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big leg kick lands. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Get right here. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Unable to land with that punch. Oh! There's no give on that leg kick. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Unable to connect it. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. Big kick lands. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Choi. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and he caught the kick. Separate. Out of range with that one. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Five minutes in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Nice punch lands over the top.
And now you're starting to see visible damage on the oh, That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh. Good combination there by the Korean Super Bowl. Choi's kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh! Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Well, missed on that one. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Checks the leg kick. He landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Big body kick lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big head kick lands. Nice new punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, that hurts to watch. Another leg kick lands flush, really causing a lot of damage to those legs of his opponent. Yeah, he's doing a great job of landing the leg kicks for the opponent. He needs to start trying to relax. Relaxation allows you to check kicks. If you're tense, if you're biting on feints, if you're biting on the guy just throwing jabs up at your head, you're not gonna check kicks. Relax, stay comfortable. Recognize who's coming in your direction. Right hook to the head. Leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down the opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step to get him to slow down and fight at your pace. Beautiful punch. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that hits them. Just out of range with that left hook. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind him real well. Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, 
tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Just out of range with the big right hand. Whiffs on that offering. He's, he's limping now. Huge block there. Good stick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice head kick. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Lands flush with that right hand. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at any rate. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick now. Oh. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch there. What a body kick. Look at him dig his shin right under his opponent's elbow. Dig and kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Got clip with the right hand. Great punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just misses with the left hook. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice punch lands over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. Hook to the head there by Choi. Blocks that strike. Big head kick land.
wild swing there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice defense there, huge block. Big kick land. Pretty good right hand. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Ooh, big shot land. Right hook coming, it's blocked. You gotta dig deep here. Visibly limping here. Same exact one. Just misses there with the left. Nice straight punch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. He went high on that one. Oh, big left. Oh, straight right. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice leg kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Let's go, push forward and use that Straight punch lands. Just caught that kick there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. After home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he's swimming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice punch, Lance. Powerful leg kick, Lance. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this 
face to land these beautiful ground balls on these. Beautiful strike. Just out of range with that right hand. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. 15 seconds to go. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Good punch. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, big head kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Just missed with the straight left hand. Let him go. Let those hands go. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Come on, buddy. Flush right hand is true. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice kick. Choi going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. That's a big strike right there. Double jab there by Choi. Right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore, right? Because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Under three minutes remain in round five. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. What a tricky head kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. What a punch. Real sneaky body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Flipped with a right hand counter. How about that shin? Just misses with the straight left hand.
swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals. Are Thunderous leg kick rounds his up a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Back to the feet now. Punch over the top. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Clean with the right hook. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice leg kick land. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Great Whoa! punch, man. Oh! All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every...